I grew up here in Bristol, Rhode Island. And my grandfather uh, was a boat builder here, and that's kind of really how I got into the sport. I started sailing, you know, at the yard, you know, in a small dinghy, you know, tied to the end of the dock. You know, eventually we untied that rope and uh, you know, started sailing in the bay and, and eventually the world. So, sailing has become a massive part of my life. It's really all I know. I met my wife uh, through sailing uh, in university. You know, we were both on the uh, sailing team together. It took us, I guess, the better part of my six-year college experience to realize that we were meant for each other. Thomas, you ready for breakfast? Having known what the Volvo was all about before Charlie got involved with it definitely helped sort of guide our understanding of what we were in for and sort of the magnitude of everything that we were about to undertake. So I don't think I'd ever want to be out there myself. It's great to have her support, you know, on the home front and to be understanding of the situation that not only I'm in, but that our, that our family's now in. When Charlie comes back for a from a leg, I think last time around it was really great for me to see him on the dock especially or to see him walk in the door and that was an extremely gratifying experience and knowing that he was back safely was huge for us. Well, Maggie was just brand new when the race started and now she's almost Let's a year. Give a big cheer. Woo! A round of applause for Let's go. Let's go. Seeing Thomas see Charlie come back has been really amazing because we watch a lot of the videos at home. We watch him on the tracker. We watch, we see, look at pictures every morning. We watch the daily live together. Just, just seeing Thomas so excited to see him and watching them be reunited has been pretty incredible. You know, for me, I'm at a place in my kids' lives where, you know, 20 days at sea is a significant chunk of their lifetime. You know, so uh, it's great to see them. Uh, grow older, you know, and, 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 and develop. And, you know, in some ways that's sad too because I feel like I, I miss some things. But, you know, my wife certainly got her hands full, you know, with two kids, one running around, one crawling around. You know, sustainability is really a, a mindset, you know. We do a pretty good job of it on the home front, you know, trying to source, you know, local food sources at the farmer's market, whether it's having our own vegetable garden. You know, I talk about with my oh. wife all the time. Come here, Noodle. You know, it's affected certainly the way that live our lives. Um, awareness is sort of the biggest driver in terms of educating and becoming a more sustainable family and community. You know, the need to pass it on to the next generation is real, you know, because they're the ones that are going to live with the consequences of our actions. But it's become so ingrained in our mindset and our ethos that it's hard not to talk about, you know, when you get home and you're just living your everyday life.